Hello everybody, welcome back to Boom XP to Beat. My name is Laura and we are continuing on with the next chapter which is eyeliner, eyelashes and eyelash application. So let's begin this week with my crazy gypsy look. I know I'm Italian so I likely have some real gypsy in me somewhere. <laughs> but that's the fun of makeup. I know I'm not 24 anymore or whatever, but look at me at 52 wearing graphic liner like I think I can. Yeah. <laughs> I just want you guys to be able to play, experiment, and be inspired. I don't want you to keep coming back week after week and I look the doggone same. So I keep trying to up my game and keep you guys on your toes and get you creating in your own mind because makeup artistry should be fun. It should be experimental. It should be exciting. And I want you guys to experience that. So we're beginning the week. We're going to just talk a little bit about eyeliner and talk about the different shapes of eyeliner. There's just so many, like it's out of control. How many different kinds of ways to do eyeliner there are and the different products that there are and each product will do so many different things like to accomplish just what I've done I use probably three or four different kinds of product I used um, the Danessa Myricks black paint I used uh, the uh, I used an, a stamp eyeliner stamp I'm trying to think of all the things that I used I used uh, a fine brush and detailed things out with like a creamy black, uh, creamy ba black uh, gel. And so <laughs> there's so many ways pencil was on the rim. Like there's so many things you can use to create. There's liquid eyeliner, there's waterproof, there's felt tip, which I also use felt tip, I forgot. Um, and I s even did some smudging uh, and I used eyeshadow as well to smudge it out. So to accomplish what I've done here, that took like four or five different kinds of eyeliner to get. And it's all about getting to where you want to go and having an idea in your mind and what particular way that you think it should look. And I didn't know if it was going to work out and oftentimes you just don't know but um, you can test it out by doing a little bit checking a little bit checking and if it's working then you could kind of go full gear like I didn't know how these little these little checks on the upper part the little kind of graphic part would work out for me I know I've done kind of the lower heavy before with the foxy kind of in implication but I certainly have never done graphic eye eyeliner on myself but how dare I talk about it if I've never done it on me. So I just wanted to experiment a little bit with you guys today and hopefully it gives you a good giggle and maybe some inspiration. We'll see. Um, but this is all just doing black. We haven't even talked about the variations that you can do with all of the different colors. So we've got different textures, all the different colors of eyeliner to create different concepts and looks. And um, we haven't talked about, you know, even within pencil eyeliners alone, there's thick and smudgy and uh, there's fine and super fine tipped and all the different possibilities that there are to create something that can really change the shape of the eye, which is eyeliner. But uh, what I want to do in uh, the next video, since I've kind of talked a long time, is to talk to you guys about the different eyeliner for different eye shapes. Um, so in terms of products, just to back up, you have pencils, which is your regular cold pencil. You have um, the screw up kind. You have the type that you have to sharpen. You have waterproof, you have non-waterproof. You've also got new ultra thins that have come out. You have ultra thick that have come out. Those are just in the pencil categories. Then you go to the felt tips. The felt tips can go to ultra fine. You can have thicker felt tips. They can become stamps as well, depending. And a uh, liquid eyeliner with more of a brush end where you're gonna brush it out. Don't forget about your gel eyeliner in the pots. And I will display some of these products in photos as I'm talking about them, so I'm just not like 
talking aimlessly and you're wondering what the heck I'm saying. So all of these different possibilities are there for you to experiment with. There's even stickers. You can even sticker the eyeliner right on um, and uh, tattoos and everything else. So holy moly it's a big world and what you can create depends um you have to know your eye shapes as we talked about in last week's video so eye shapes are really crucial and we need to get into all of that so basically let's roll out all of the different uh, possibilities for the different eye shapes as far as what might go best with the certain shapes so that you don't get it messed up too badly um, because with eyeliner depending on what you're applying if it's waterproof it can be a little harder to get off if you mess up so let's just roll with um, this for now and so your assignment just for today is to assemble any eyeliner products that you have whether it be gel pencil waterproof felt uh, anything I even have used mascara as eyeliner with a brush awesome by the way um, as well as put water with eyeshadow to make a paste as a eyeliner so all of these are possibilities and I want you guys to like pool everything you have at home together and see if we can't uh, do a little play so let's roll this out see you tomorrow